So Ian, it's a 3-2 defeat eight to Grimsby Borough today. What did you think of that performance? Yeah, look, we uh, we gave them three three soft goals, which is is not the thing to do against a good good football inside in Grimsby and also away from home. And also, when you have six players unavailable, you've got to be really resolute and hard to score against. And we gave them three soft goals. Uh, first one, we probably come from we we changed the shape, so just against the position, it was a good little ball. Around the corner and good movement, they scored, but I thought we responded well and, and, and weathered the storm at the start. And then when we got into our play, we, we had chances. And from the corner, uh, Luke Rawson's been strong and got himself his reward with a good header. I thought we started the second half okay, and then we just give a really cheap corner away, wanting the ref to give a damn ball and stop. So we went for the corner, and then we just not come out and block the shot on the edge of the box. Um, there's so many bodies there, we should be blocking it. We should be throwing his bodies in front of it. Uh, and we haven't, and the ball's gone into the bottom corner. Third one, obviously Ben holds his hand up. He, he, he maybe could have got a shout to leave it to go out. Maybe could have punched it away, tried to catch it, dropped it straight to their lad who tapped it in. So obviously a bit of an uphill struggle, but there was a, a good positive reaction by the players. Um, all in all, that got a good, good ball by Charlie, good movement by Luke and Watto to create space for Ollie to run in. Great first touch. Second and third touch composure, and then to, to pass into the corner, really pleased Folly with his goal. And we put him under a good bit of pressure, quite a lot of pressure right at the end. Um, Waters had one saved by the keeper in the corner. We've had another one that's going to cross, we've just all let it run. Had another one where tried to flick it, and the keeper saved it. So we, we, we did respond well, but we shouldn't be, shouldn't be stood here again saying that. And over the 90, we can't give the team three goals. And, um, it's cost us. Uh, well, so Jack Tinker obviously went off with a, quite a serious looking injury. Um, have you really got any update on that yet or is it going to be a wait and see? Yeah, he's in a lot of pain. He's struggling to put any weight on it and any movement. Um, Libby's assessed it initially, so um, there's swelling but not much heat. It doesn't seem to be inside the knee, so we're hoping the ACL is, is okay, but it's on the, ins, it's on the uh, medial side, so it could be his medial ligament or could be his meniscus, his, his, his cartilage, which, which would mean an operation. So we're hoping it's nothing too serious, but he's going to go to the to the hospital straight from here, and hopefully it's, it's positive news. Okay, so the person who came on for him was Dan Nelson, one of the reserves. We've seen Oli Novak score today. Obviously, that was not the way. I don't think we ever want to see Dan make his debut and coming on for Jack in that situation. But what is this about the? What statement does this make about the pathway system working with Oli scoring, Dan making his debut today? Yeah, go to the train, train with us every week. Uh, they understand the, the standard, the intensity that, that they have to play at and train at. Um, opportunity with, with so many players missing that, that we could uh, give them that chance. Uh, Dan's come late this morning with, with uh, Alex dropping out with illness. Um, it came on out of position, but he showed composure. Um, he's a good footballer, Dan is an intelligent footballer, um, so you know he can trust him in any position. All I know, Wack, is. is it's, we've just had to manage his progression. He, he needs to keep playing men's football, but today he showed the quality that he can can have. He also put a good, two couple of excellent balls across the box. One from the right side with his right foot, one from the left with his left foot. So, yeah, we've got I got a huge amount of time for for both uh, Dan uh, for Ollie, but also Kyle Austin as well, who's trained with us. Um, but I just didn't want to decimate um, uh, Fretz's his team. Um, we could do with three subs, we could have that option. So, yeah, they're good footballers, they train with us, they're the future of this club. Um, we'll continue to give young players the opportunity. Uh, the average age of our squad is around 23 uh, years old. So, I'm really pleased um, on an individual basis for Dan and Ollie. Obviously, disappointed for the club that we've lost again. The reserves did get a draw today, you know, against Emsworth, so they've done all right, thankfully. Um, obviously, it's a quick turnaround this Monday against Pontefract. Going to be a different chance because Pontefract um, didn't play today. They had their game postponed. So yeah, just said that in there that, look, they're going to be fresher than us. We've got to make sure we're going to have a recovery session tomorrow morning um, to get us right for Monday. Um, they're chasing the playoffs, so they'll be 100% committed. So we've got to make sure that we, we match that and that we're better defensively um, than we were today. And, and continue to have that attacking threat but be a bit more continue to be more clinical in the box just sitting there we've lost I think 15 games this season in the league it's it's far too many it's not good enough and um, we've got to make sure that these last five mean something and that we we play each game with the value of the three points because we're not facing chasing promotion and we're not facing relegation we're just playing for the value of three points and that professional pride and integrity and we've got to make sure that we stand up to whatever Ponte throws and, and make sure we 
we, we counteract that with, with our performance. Yeah, thank you very much, Ian. Cheers, Adam. Thank you.